my backyard trails are ruined. And when you hear me say that, you probably think, oh, well, they're probably not actually ruined. But this time, over the winter, they actually did get pretty destroyed. And so this spring, I'm going to be doing full renovations on all of my trails. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you could remember right here at my roll-in for my trails. I had a really nice berm right here. And, uh, yeah, it's destroyed. It's not here anymore. Like, there's literally no traces of it. Uh, yeah, it really sucks. We had an excavator come in, and uh, he needed to get right here, and my berm was right here, and it's gone. So I'm going to have to rebuild this whole thing, along with the start. It's a big oak right here. We have this nice jump. It's destroyed, completely ruined. Some of the boards are ripped off. That trail ruined, at least the start of it. Then you can see this is all messed up. Completely messed up here. And uh, the start to this trail right here, main line, it got a little messed up. Same with the start to the newest trail that I have back here that I don't even have a name for yet. It got a little messed up too. It's got some logs in the way. And uh, one of the big things I've been dealing with back here is erosion. So this is a pretty good graded hill right here. And uh, yeah, so erosion is a big thing that I have to worry about. And mainline, for the longest time, I had to keep up with a lot of the drainage. But this year, and over the winter, it really got hit hard. See this berm? It's about half the height it was when I left it off in the fall. You can see the trail is starting to fall away right there. That's pretty bad. You can see this jump. The table is really eroding pretty bad. It used to be out to like here, now it's all the way up in here. Then you can see the bench cut right here. It's getting hit pretty hard. It's pretty off camber, which is bad. Don't want that. Along with this burn right here, that thing is pretty much destroyed. I'm gonna need a full rebuild on that. And you can see the trail is starting to, or nature is starting to take it back over right here. Grass is growing back and some, uh, loam is starting to form as i'm continuing down main line here i'm noticing more drainage problems and more erosion which is really bad but one of the biggest berms here well the longest berm is uh completely gone pretty much this thing is like destroyed that's going to need a full rebuild which uh it kind of needed anyway as you can see it's kind of just falling off right there pretty bad but yeah, this berm destroyed. You can see erosion right there. Pretty bad. Then coming down here further, you can see it's pretty messed up. Obviously, I haven't even raked these in a long time. This is all messed up. It almost, like, you can't even tell there's a trail there, really. You come down this way on a snake tongue. You can see that you can't even see the trail. Which really sucks. But yeah, there's like, you couldn't even tell there's a trail here if there wasn't a feature right here. Now, so this video is definitely different from the normal videos. The normal videos are normally pretty edited and uh, planned. This one, I just wanted to update you guys. I know it might not be what you wanted to see, but it's definitely an update on the trails back here. Coming up to one of the biggest problems that I have. Um, definitely, I just feel like I need to show this, um, and, uh, alert you of some of the videos that will be coming. See, this is a pretty bad problem here. This is on main line. That's the six foot gap right here. A, a limb fell off, but it didn't fully fall off, so I have no clue how I'm going to take care of this. But it's right in the middle of the trail. Again, it's pretty messed up still. But, uh, coming over here... Uh, the lower snake line or snake tongue sorry this jump is in pretty good condition but the landing is definitely having some problems so uh i'll have to take care of that and rebuild that full landing see up here i had the on off step up to drop as you can tell this thing is no longer it's completely destroyed it's uh gone now i actually this one didn't just happen randomly. I did actually move this a lot, and I moved it over to a different place, which I will tell you in a, in a minute here. 
But uh, yeah, this trail is pretty messed up here. And then coming down to this table right here, you can tell the, the trail into it is uh, gone like all the others. I mean, right into it, you can tell the board is messed up on it and that's fallen and it's just not doing too hot. And then the landing used to be way taller than it is probably about a foot taller actually than it is and uh you can tell that some of the logs in it are showing and it's really messed up and then drainage problems we've been having this has pretty much always been mud right here like that that's pretty much has always been like that whether it's raining like today or not that has just been a pretty serious problem and you can see up here quite a few trees have fallen like these these have fallen and there's a big brush pile right here, a bunch of little trees. And then the end to main line right here, a bunch of sticks on it. Can't even tell there's a trail here, common theme. This jump has almost completely eroded away. You can tell all the logs in are showing. That's definitely going to need, uh, require a full rebuild. Even though all these trails are severely messed up, it's not all a really that much of a bad thing. These things happen over time. And honestly, my trails might come out of this even better than they are. See, these trails have got, kind of gotten a bit boring and I've tried to just make new trails, but I have three main lines here. And that's Big Oak, Main Line, and the Hard Line. I don't really have a name for that. But those are the, the three main lines and they have really needed rebuilds. So this is just an excuse for me to do those rebuilds. And you're gonna start seeing some amazing videos coming out of this. Here is the, the big line or hard line. Don't really have a name. Still haven't hit this jump because I need to get that branch out of the way. Cause I feel like that is actually a problem and a concern is hitting that. But you can tell this jump is eroding away here. There's holes in it like that one holes over here and uh yeah this jump is in just really bad condition same with the berm after it this berm was really big well it went from small to really big and uh back to small again so yeah i'm probably going to do a full rebuild of this probably take out the logs in the back speaking of the logs in the back that is something that i want to start redoing is uh making jumps right so they last longer, same with berms, jumps, whatever. I wanna stop putting logs in them and just building them even better than normal. And uh, yeah, it, even though it takes more work, I'm getting better at building jumps. So yeah, I'm probably gonna stop putting logs in uh, the dirt piles uh, just to make them even better. We had a lot of wind this winter. So we had a lot of trees and stuff fall down. Like these, these are just small branches. But they're right in the middle of the main line here. Or the big line. The North Shore line as well. With the North Shore drop right here. This jump right here is destroyed. It needs a full rebuild. This was never actually hittable. But I don't know if you can tell, but it's moving a lot. So that is going to need a full rebuild. North Shore, however, doing good. This drop, however, doing good. Which is good to see those, that North Shore drop right there is a recent feature. So it's good to see it's doing well. See the big drop right there. That one is doing well, but the trail after it's not. The trail after it needs to be fully redone, which I don't mind that much, but that is just another project. So you can see up there, that's the berm on Big Oak. And yeah, as you can tell, it's no longer berm. It's just a bunch of sticks. So like I said, um, I'm going to stop putting logs and sticks in my jumps and berms um, to make them even better. So that berm should be way better coming out of this. See, something that I never really mentioned is I actually have a second trail system and it is just down the way here, it's a little bit of a walk, but these trails are more recent and they're built way better. So uh, I'll take a look at these and show them to you. And uh, yeah, they've been doing way better. Obviously they're more recent, but yeah, I'll just give you an update on these and I'll uh, let you know 
what is to come with these. There's this sewer road or access road that runs through here. And one, <laughs> here's the story. So these two cars, it was a Kia Rio and a Dodge Caravan. And the Dodge Caravan license plate came back to a Mercedes, uh, to a Mercedes G-Wagon. And the Kia was a, uh, was a rental car. And we found them back here on this uh, sewer road. And uh, here's where they got stuck. And uh, yeah, we're pretty sure they were stolen cars or something like that. And as you can tell, they got really stuck back here. There's some broken toe straps, part of the car bumper. More towing straps, car mats everywhere. More car mats over there. And here's some pallets. See that pallet? That pallet right there. And, uh, yeah, so that pallet, that pallet. And then here was the goalpost drop. And the goalpost drop came in from Night Tear. And Night Tear had pallets as a case pad, just in case. It wasn't, like, to make the jump any easier, but it was just in case I cased. I didn't want to mess up my bike. So I put two pallets here on these logs uh, as case pads. And the people stuck in the cars came onto our property, stole the pallets that were mine, and brought them over to, I would assume, help get unstuck. And uh, they also destroyed goalpost drop while doing that. So I got to fully redo that and clean up their whole mess from where they got stuck. But here you can see this landing. I had plans to take out most of the logs out of this landing for the 15-foot night tear gap. I had, most, I had plans to take out the... The, uh, the logs, build it way bigger than it is. Um, it looks way smaller on camera. But yeah, just make it really a nice big landing and then uh, make a more permanent uh, pallet case pad. Um, as you can see, I didn't tarp this landing and it's already starting to erode. You can see more logs. But yeah, so that is definitely something that I'm going to be rebuilding in the future. And I'll probably make a short out of that video yeah, there's the gap. The jump is doing well. And then here is the end to Bad Dream. That jump is doing fine. Here you can see the run into Bad Dream. See, this one is raked off. And I'm definitely going to probably lay down a clay blanket on this like I did over here on Bad Dream. But the deer actually tore up that clay blanket. So you can see it's not much of a clay blanket anymore. Coming up here to this set of jump for the 15 foot gap. You can see this landing is eroding already. And the jump looks extremely sketchy, but it's solid, it's good. Um, definitely gonna rebuild this. I'm sure that was not a surprise to most of you. It was basically the landing to the 15 foot gap and this jump. We're just temporary for the video so I can get that video out. Definitely going to be some major changes to night tear coming up. But the brother-sister trail of night tear is Bad Dream. You can see there's this jump here, which is the hip. I tarped this landing, and it is doing just fine. I opened that landing up uh, like a few weeks ago, and it's doing good, which is good to see. And uh, yeah, that tree fell on that, actually. And the drop up here gonna add some more bracing to this maybe build up the landing a bit better uh the drop is doing really good actually which is i'm happy about that so yeah i love this drop this is actually part of the step up box over at my other trail system so yeah here's just a quick video for you guys today uh, it's raining we've had pretty bad weather recently so it's just really hard for me to get these videos out to you um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you guys because I feel like you should know because these are a pretty major uh, tool for filming my videos. So I just want to show you guys what was going on. And uh, yeah, as always, I'll catch you in the next one. And coming up, we're going to see some really good build videos. Bye.